Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. We have the chief of the Ventura Police Department joining us, Ken Corning. We have so much to talk about. Let's start with panhandling. This is a problem that makes people uncomfortable and they don't really, they feel guilty if they don't give, but the money is not always used as it should be, is it? Correct. Uh, you know, oftentimes panhandling is, is not for people who are who are just homeless and down on their luck, but it's it's used by by vagrants to to continue a behavior of service resistant behavior of just living on the streets and using the money for for alcohol, drugs, and other uh, behaviors that aren't helping them um, bring their life around and, and go back to a sustained uh, life. Um, I think um, you know we have a lot of great uh, social services agencies in our in our community. Uh, meals are available essentially every day. For, for people who, who need to be fed, whether they're homeless or whether they're just uh, have an economic situation where they need some help with food. We have uh, several uh, agencies, which I think you guys could put up on your screen later, that, that can help. And So when you give money to people who are panhandling, you're oftentimes supporting behaviors that aren't helping that person return to a, to a more sustainable lifestyle. Is it a matter of pride? They don't want to go to these areas that have the free meals? Oftentimes, I think it's, a, it's more a matter of accountability and, um, and um, there, there, there are certain rules and regulations in the places where there's meals. Well, let me go back and say to begin with, I think they're still going and pursuing those meals. What they oftentimes can use the money for are things that you can't get at the meals, which might be might be alcohol cigarettes. Or, or cigarettes or some other some other uh, substance which which isn't available through uh, charitable organizations. So, um, I think the, if supporting these these. Uh, social services entities will actually help feed and clothe and, and even ultimately house people. Uh, putting, giving money in most situations is uh, is not going to to be productive. Um, it it if if there are truly homeless people who who need help, these organizations these organizations are there to help them. What about the notion that these people prefer living on the street? They don't want to go back to acclimating themselves into society. When I speak of service resistance, that's that's truly what it is. And we, we work with the social services agencies and the uh, nonprofits to, to offer services to people. And there, there are just some uh, chronic um, um, homeless people who prefer to live that lifestyle and, and certainly there's a way to support it but but oftentimes it's also supported through through alcohol drug abuse and things that that lead to theft and, and other antisocial kind of behaviors it also creates an environment when people are panhandling where, where people feel intimidated sure I mean if you're walking down a, a street in Ventura and, and uh, maybe dark out and somebody comes up and asks you for a couple of bucks it, it makes it uncomfortable for you to say no and and you could feel threatened and and you know people people were are afraid of that and mm -hmm. so it, it contributes to the whole feeling of kind of disorder and crime and things like that. Sometimes they have some pretty good excuses. Yeah, they, got right. a, they got a buzz they're gonna catch, you know, mm -hmm. can Out you of please gas. help me? Yeah. yeah, things like that. And then sometimes you're just standing there with a with a sign or or just uh, you know, oftentimes what we'll see in our in our downtown corridor is people who have been in drinking and they're intoxicated and will come and approach people and it and having talked to uh, some of our some of our citizens and tourists out out, out in our downtown corridor, it's a it's a scary environment for them sure. because they don't know the people and even though the person doing the panhandling can mean no harm, it's the perception of the of the potential for harm that, that, that Makes causes you feel a unsafe problem. And, then... and once again we, we have um, some very good charitable organizations that can, can help with that. And that information is available at most storefronts yeah, we're gonna, in our we're downtown put it up area on the screen and, uh, and, and certainly through that's good to this know program. That there's there's an option. Thank that, you. Uh, perhaps we can even suggest that to them. Absolutely. <laughs> if they're coherent at the time, Absolutely. Yes. you know, to let them know because people don't want to go places because they're afraid of the vagrants. Mm -hmm. It hurts businesses as well. Correct. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Ken Corney, the chief of the Ventura Police Department, for joining us here on Local Edition. We'll see you next time right here. I'm Bella Shaw.